Hi, this is Nir from Polypop Live, and in this video I'm going to show you how Polypop Live can pick a random viewer, show its name, and also show its profile picture on your live stream. And it can be viewers from your chat, or subscribers, or followers, there are many options. And Polypop Live allows you to do it either from Twitch or YouTube. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When I ask Polypop to pick a random user, in this case a YouTube sub, Polypop first shows the card with your own profile picture on one side and then flips it over, reveals the name and the profile picture of the lucky viewer who was selected and after a few seconds place the card on the left corner of the screen. Now to do this you will need to make sure that Polypop Live is connected to your Twitch or your YouTube account. This is a very simple process that involves only a few clicks and I will put a link on the description down below to show you how to do it. So now once our YouTube or Twitch accounts are connected we will go to the scene layout and click on the plus button here and under categories we will choose YouTube. If you are live streaming on Twitch you will choose the Twitch option. I'm going to choose the YouTube and from here we will choose the viewer picker preset. Double click it or click add. Once you do that Polypop will ask you to assign a key combination on your keyboard for the viewer picker. What's happening here is that Polypop just made us create a hotkey. For my hotkey, I chose the Ctrl P combination, which means that whenever I'll press Ctrl P, Polypop will choose a viewer. Of course, you can pick whatever key combination you'd like, and you can also use your Stream Deck to do so. Just make sure to download the Polypop Live Stream Deck plugin before you do that. And basically, we're done. All we have to do now is choose a list from which Polypop will choose a player from. To do that, we will select the YouTube Player Picker layer in our scene layout. And here we can see that our web service is YouTube and the list is the subscribers, which means that Pipop will choose a random subscriber. But we can change that. If we'll click on the list menu, we can see that we can change it to chatters, meaning Pipop will only choose a viewer who already wrote something in the chat. This can make sure Pipop chooses an active viewer and also can encourage viewers to actually chat. Other options are super chatters and chatting subscribers, which means that Pipop will only choose a chatter who is also a subscriber. Just remember that I chose the YouTube viewer picker. If you'll choose the Twitch viewer picker, there are many, many other options there that are more relevant to Twitch, like viewers in chat, VIP in chat, moderators in chat, subscribers, tier 1, tier 2, and many more. Now let's see what other properties we can change in the viewer card. To do that, let's first make the card visible by clicking the eye icon here in the scene layout. And now we can see the card. This is the backside of the card. We chose the live streamer's profile picture, in this case me, which is Polypop Live. Open the object drop-down menu, open the user card drop-down menu, scroll down a little bit. If we look at the card's back properties, we can see that there are 10 styles to choose from. If you don't want to use your profile picture for the back of the card, you can change it by clicking on the pick button next to the back card's texture and place your own image instead. Now let's look at the card's face. In order to do that, we will need to flip it around. Let's expand the transform menu at the very bottom right and under rotation, let's change the y-axis to zero. That will flip the card to the other side. Now I'm gonna close the transform window so I have more space. Now let's have a look at the card's face default properties. We can see that the style is tile number eight. And again, we have 10 different styles to choose from. I'm gonna leave it at style eight for now. We can change the card's default color by clicking on the color and pick whatever color we want. Now in order to see the change, we will need to go up in the properties and click on refresh set. We can also expand the label menu and play with the properties over there. We can change the color of the profile name again by clicking the color. We can change its font. And we can also decide that we do not want to show the name and we'll just disable the visible option. And we're done. All that is left to do is test it. So I'm gonna press Ctrl P because that's the key combination I chose before. And as we can see, it's working. So you now know how to make Polypop pick a random viewer from your stream. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.